Welcome ladies and gentlemen here to the Global Offensive Champions League Season 5. This is Outlaws vs Dark Passage and this is of course going to be a best of three series. We're into the semi-finals, loser this is going to be knocked out in our single elimination bracket and winner will be going through to the grand finals. Obviously a big pressure match here, both these teams at least secured $500 um, so far but the winner of this is going to be a guaranteed $1,500, maybe even $2,500 if they can win this event. So it may be one of these teams or, or it will be one of these teams for in fact uh, to make it to, to the grand finals however maybe one of them to win and we're going into the first map of train here obviously this is going to be dark passages pick and the uh, outlaws picking overpass here third pass uh, third map going to be mirage and going straight into the pistol we see dark passage a very aggressive push up on towards a they're going to be deep in the side already a couple of kills going their way they are mainly going to be traded out but it is eventually going to be back in their favor here and now the rotation coming in through is circ he makes his way through the pop dog Woxic going to be able to drop the bomb on the site as he gets shot in the face and circ he just has to hold the angle now just wait for the bomb to get picked up and calyx taking a very long range fight with that usp he's going to be able to get away with it at least for for the time being but he's not quite got the kill and that's what he's looking for peeks out and gets a headshot dark passage pissed around here and i guess there's a lot of context around this matchup as well uh, dark passage one of these teams that have been most surprising so far this event uh, in their last series they knocked out um uh, infuse the uk team and they've been doing very very well uh, throughout the event some would say they had a bit of an easier road to get up here and obviously they've not dropped a map but you know, they, they definitely have proven to be a team that you've got to watch out for. The, the second best Turkish team, arguably, and or well, not even arguably, definitely, and they've definitely been making work done in this event. It's looking like, uh, you know, maybe a grand final in this place is going to be very likely in this matchup, despite Outlaws even getting them a uh, choice on the side after winning the knife round on train. So, going into the second round, a fast push up towards A. We have Pistols to defend. Rocking gets himself a Deeg, but that's probably going to be it here because these T's are absolutely asserting dominance onto the site. Very, very nice stuff so far. And it's all going to be on Partodis, rotating back in towards B. He's going to be stuck outside the connector there. So Dark Passage, bomb down, only lost one player, a few tags up. No reason to chase in this situation. They can just hold on to the guns uh, and allow Outlaws to save this one PT-50 player. But they will just be pushing a little bit aggressively here. He catches out one while fully blind, and that's a UMP now dropped if he wants to go pick it up. But he is just going to hold back for the time being, moving back in towards the CT spawn and waiting for these Ts to at least try and lose their rifles to him. Because if he can stop them from saving a couple of AKs or Galils, that could be very, very useful coming up in the future. But he's going to have a double push here, only gets one, but it's only a UMP to go down. They saved the two rifles in that round, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter too much. The dark passes here are going to be able to buy up nonetheless. And Outlaws, Eco, and a full one at that. So, Circ is saving for the AWP, and the rest of them will just be going for maybe uh, a PT-50 on part of this. That will just be it after getting a couple of kills there in the previous round. But yeah, not too much of an investment you could say here from this CT side, and we are just going to see a very fast push up on towards A, and this is likely to yield a lot of damage as well. Woxic, you should buy head armor because he he's just going to get shot in the face here. A couple of kills actually going the way of the Outlawed side, but by and large, it's going to be rejuvenating. Dark Passage here are going to be able to pick up that third round. Very, very swift stuff, and now we get into the actual rounds that are, are important now as Outlaws. They obviously are going to have money for a buy here. We have Dark Passage pausing. Not sure that's tech or tack. Probably going to be tech. I'm not sure why you pause after a bit of a confidence lead in the first three rounds, but uh, they haven't really stated, so we'll just be waiting for confirmation on that. Not going to make a bunch of assumptions when we're not too sure there, so... Yeah, I guess another thing to say about this matchup is Outlaws. Yeah, previously, they have lost one map so far in this event to Fragsport. I think they were the uh, the Danish team. I'm not entirely sure on that, though. And, uh, and Dark Passage, as I said, not losing a map throughout this event. Smooth through the quarters with a 16-5 and a 16-6 against Infused. And uh, obviously, the, the round of 16 was no issue for them to dispatch the opponents. And they're looking like you know the team to be entering the final today. I, I think alongside them, Tricked are going to be the ones to watch out for. Tricked versus EPG are coming up next. And yes, definitely EPG, a well-known Russian squad under the name of Peter previously, but now they've got a new organization. Uh, obviously, names like Waterfalls, Jimco, Ubik, etc. Big names in the CIS region. Um, but... I feel like Trick just having that experience being together for far longer, you know, you may think that they could make it out of this one to the final to potentially join Dark Passage if they can pick up this series. And I think that'd definitely be the match to look out for. But to be honest, the later match, EPG versus Trick, I think that's going to be the most important one because that really is a 50-50, whereas this one is a little more decisive towards the Turkish, uh, the Turkish team. But again, Bulgarians, they could make something work here. 
And uh, we are just going to see once again the buy around coming up. A fast push onto the A site here and a bit of defense finally from Rocky and Zerg. Going to combine a couple of kills going their way now. And Mini, he's going to get caught out leaving the popped up there. Woxic as well to fall and rocking four kills in that round. So Outlaws, they get themselves on the board now. And it is going to be a 1 to 3, but obviously Dark Pass is just still able to buy up in, to a considerable extent here, considering they have a couple of players with money left to drop. But, uh, hmm, micro prioritizing nades instead of a drop. Okay, he goes for UMP. That's why I was a bit confused there, but no. Tech 9 on Woxic, UMP and Triple AK. That's a decent buy there from the T side. And Outlaws obviously keeping on to this AWP that Circa's been saving for since the second round. So he's going to be holding that one strong as we go into the fifth. And now Dark Passage with a change of heart. A B take is looking likely. Only Partod is to hold this one down. He is just situated over towards the site, very deep in, as you would expect. But the issue with this position, if, if, if you're playing solo, you get killed. There's no trade coming in from Connector. But as I say, that spell is going to be able to rotate in time. So he's now down towards the site as well. That's a very nice angle. But the only issue is they could potentially get a pick if they just kind of cross off the ladder and don't peek so wide out and take down Partodis. But... Again, they really don't know the positions of these CTs, which makes it harder. And we are going to see this push come through. Spellan, he's not going to catch the first. Partodis will, and Spellan's going to try and help him as well. Gets himself one. Partodis currently on a two kill streak, but he goes down eventually. Sasuke does follow up, and now the rotation is coming back into the site. Sasuke gets dropped, and Kalix is alone. Taps away. He does find himself one. Goes onto ACR. That's a lot of damage, but he's down to 16 HP. Just makes it out of there alive. A Molotov still in the hands of Kalix to expel over towards that connector. But oh, the angle. Sirk, he's not going to be expecting it. He taps away, and he does actually get the kill at the end of the day. So that's Sirk to actually have a bit of a comeback for Outlaws. A 2-3, to three, but that was very, very close there. We could have seen that clutch from Sasuke, but he's only just going to fall, uh, fall down a little bit there. However, Outlaws now getting two rounds on our own means Dark Passage's money is going to be pretty dire, and they're actually forcing this one up. Maybe going into this matchup a little bit overconfident, I guess you could say, as they have got one rifle and four pistols. Not the best buy. Obviously, they can go for some, some kind of fast play to uh, take advantage of these CTs before they get in the positions, but it doesn't even seem to be likely at this point. So I'm not too sure why Dark Passage would even consider a forcing in this situation, considering all it would take is a, an eco considering the lost bonus and uh, and a bomb plant maybe or a couple of ecos it wouldn't be too bad they could even go for a quasi on the second round of the ecos so i'm surprised that they uh they forced but maybe it'll make maybe they'll make it work i mean they're definitely the team you got to watch out for as i've been saying so it could prove to be decent we've got smokes going over a that's a bit of a distraction but the main push, that's on B, and Serki's already holding down the line. Takes down one, the second player will cross towards the site with a bomb, though. It's going to be planted, Partodis wants to deny it. He runs around the corner, sprays away, doesn't quite stop the bomb plant, but he does get a kill right after there. Mini comes back in, but he gets traded right after one, and Woxic now alone. No Molotov for that bomb plant as well. They are just going to straight up smoke it just to play the safe game. The defuse is already on, and Serk, he's going to get away with that as well. Woxic gets dropped, and that will be Outlaws to actually equalize things up. So, uh, obviously... Two anti-ecos gifted Dark Passage after winning that first pistol, and now Outlaws, they've come back in with three buys. So, Dark Passage, this is what I'm talking about. If they had obviously not bought up into the previous round, they would have a buy here combined with that bomb plant money. So, I, I really disagree with the, the force buy in the previous round. A very kind of, you know, I, I guess it's, if anything, it's, it's more of, I guess you could compare it to an envious style of play with the consistent forces when it's kind of unnecessary. And that can lead to real deficits. So, I, I wouldn't like to... Uh, in their position right now in terms of money, they are going to be ecoing, giving away yet another round with just pistols, this time not even with one, one rifle, so even less chance of them picking up anything here. Push up towards Ivy, it will be only ACL to hold, and they are just going to overrun him at least, get himself one kill, spell and trades out a couple more, he does pull out the pistol as well to try and follow up, that's three for him so far, so suit gets caught out in the open, and now we'll on walk sick, but nothing will be found there. Outlaws, they get the entry on ACL, that will just be it, and Outlaws... Uh, oh, sorry, Dark Passage get the entry on Outlaws, but uh, Outlaws are going to be able to wipe this slate clean at the end of the day. So Dark Passage now finally being able to commit to their buy, but they've given away a, a numerous amount of unnecessary rounds here. So they're going to be onto these AKs and the AWP on Woxic now. So a little more to work with for the side of the Turkish and uh, Outlaws, obviously, having built up this fairly decent CT economy as well. But a default set out from Dark Passage, yeah, just holding certain points in the maps, trying to wait for a bit of aggression here on this T side. Nothing will be proven to be coming through here for the Outlaw side. Oh, Woxic. No, he's going to get away with it. But uh, this is looking maybe potentially like a late A take. They could obviously push Maiko back in through B as a distraction or even as a fake or something like that. Or he could back off and come down Pop Dog to join Mini. Um, but 
There's so many different things that our passage can really do with this kind of setup. It's just a normal default, though, for the time being. However, that can change after the first pick, and now it's most definitely going to be A. Woxic, he finds that entry, flashes and smokes over B as a bit of a distraction. That's Maiko's role here. He's going to throw the molly out as well. This will keep both these B players in the site as well. While you can see these Ts, they're still heading towards the same site. However, the bomb not in their hands. Calix is outside of A main. He needs to go, gri go grab it. The fact of the matter is, he's throwing these smokes into B, Maiko, and he's not committed with it. And they've not gone for the A in the meantime. So now Outlaws, all they know is, okay, they're, they're, they're going to hit their, their proper site next time to fully rotate. But actually, Spell has not even moved back on through to A, even though Mini's found that first pick. So Suit will go down, and Maiko caught out over towards B as well. It's going to be an equal man situation, but the bomb going to be going down. And they still haven't cleared out the snake in the grass. That Cirque, no, the AWP isn't great at this kind of position, but he can definitely make it work. And he has the potential of hitting a one-shot as well, which is obviously... Going to be far easier than going for a spray and getting around the corner here. He's going to zoom. They're going to hear that many looks. Oh, and he hits a headshot as well. That's a nice shot. Now it's Spellen and Partodis to try and pick up the pieces of this fallen round. Partodis finds another, but it's still the time is ticking away from them. They don't have a smoke for the bomb. The Molotov going out deep, but that really will have no effect here. As many is going to be able to be able to get back into another position. Spellen, he's just completely exhausted on time. And in the meantime, Woxic. He is being a real nuisance here for Outlaws, and two more kills for him will secure Dark Passage that fourth round of the board. Finally, a buy will go their way. So still Outlaws able to buy as they do have a little bit left in their economy here, a bit of bank going on with, so... They're going to have the uh, M4s and AWP up. I'm not too sure what they have left, though. Uh, they can get a bit of a buy uh, in the next round. Not a full buy by any means, but definitely something with a $2,400 loss bonus. Uh, with a $1,900 loss bonus. I would recommend one eco, though. But either way, it's looking like maybe they won't need that help because they've already picked up the first kill. However, that gets traded. Calix, nice entry there. The Mastermind behind Dark Passage getting some nice stuff done. Mini follows up as well. And now 4v3 in players. Dark Passage, they start to fall one by one. The numbers diminish. This is looking like the reset is coming in very likely here for the Outlaw side. It's just Woxic and Calix left. And Woxic, he's hitting towards the B side as well. There's only one defender in position for this. And it is going to be Partodis towards the back of the site. Woxic, oh sorry, Calix trying to make a distraction on A. And Woxic in the meantime, they know exactly where he is. I'm surprised they haven't fully rotated despite not seeing him but this smoke going down Partodis knows that but Woxic eventually going to edge himself out of this ramp area here Partodis is still holding the cross so he has to clear this position and he is going to peek into it nice bait peek there he's not going to hit the shot regardless but the bomb will be going down it's a little more money guaranteed for Dark Passage in the next round but he's got to hurry up because the flanks are already coming in the way he can hear it they're trying to time it perfectly he peeks out again there's another shot that time he's going to hit the kill rocking will drop to the ground he follows up with a second that's Partodis and the third one gets the leg shot as well Spellan he's so so low pushing around the angle he's fought a third of the round ACL gets found but Spellan back in and he's going to be able to pick up the kill that is Outlaws to take the round. And a very, very close position to be in. The trade was you know, almost completely gone there for Outlaws. And they really didn't time that one too well. So Dark Passage just uh, inching away from it. They will get the bomb down though. So that's a bit of money guarantee. But the eco coming out regardless, or I'd like to think so, as they go for the buy in the upcoming round. Good, I was correct. Mini and Calix just get a bit of armor. The rest of them go for that eco. One plant money going to allow them a bit of an investment, a bit of leeway into this round. And Outlaws having the fullest buy you could even imagine here. However, it's not going to be for too long as Mini, he charges into B. First kill got to come out from him. Cirque's already rotated back in through though, so he gets himself one. A dig from Calix and Cirque, he's doubling down. That's two kills so far. Three players remain for Dark Passage, but again, they're only on pistols, so it's not exactly a, a, a bright situation for them. Sasuke is now the last man standing, and the bomb is back out in the open as well, meaning that he has nothing in his favour, and Rocking is even going to remove his head to add insult to injury. A 6-4 to four on the board, four outlaws, and Dark Passage now finally going to be back on their bye. That's a positive, but the AWP is not going to be on Woxic for a change, just the AK. Everyone else on these four nades as well. And outlaws still holding strong, decent buy coming up on this CT side, and... A 7-4 is very possible, however, Dark Passage. They could yield something themselves. Push that onto the A site here. Sirk's holding the angle, and that's a great position to get a pick. Okay, so Sook, just a pixel of his head caught out there. It's going to be 
A nice entry there from Kalex to refrag things back out onto the A side. ACL does return a bit of fire, but he has to go down here in order for Dark Passage to be able to equalize this into a three on three. Maiko making it very clear that he's pushed himself up of Ivy, but in the meantime, the rest of the players around him are going to start to fall. That's Mini as well, going to be found by the AWP wielded on Cirque. What's it with a bit of a crossfire? Maiko supporting an ACL. He just spots him out, lines him up, and shuts him down. It's all on Woxic. And yes, ACL's low, but there are four players to deal with. That's not exactly a bright situation to be in. And Spellant is just going to be able to clean him up with the spray down. So Outlaws 7 to 4 and Dark Passage. This is not the kind of match I expected from them. This is not Dark Passage. Definitely not used to this kind of performance from the, uh, the Turkish guys. They seem to typically be a, a little bit above this kind of level, but maybe they are up against a more formidable opponent. They're starting to crumble this time. The pistols are going to be out again. And again, you've got to take into account they are on T-side train, which is a bit unfair. It's a very, very hard side to be on, so, so you can't always expect the uh, best things for them. But, obviously, that's just a bit of a clean-up, nothing else. We should expect their Outlaws 8-2-4. And Dark Passage, again, back on the ball with another attempt. We've got the uh, AKs up, Woxic not on that AOP, just a little bit too little money. Could have gone for the Glass Cannon, but honestly, not even worth it a lot of the time. So, he's just going to stick to that AK. Plenty of utility as well to work with in Outlaws. Again, continuing this by this time, changing up the pace. I like this. They're not just going, oh, it, it's all fine, we don't need to change any kind of setups. Because eventually, Dark Passage will start to read. So, now that they're playing this one a little more aggressively, grabbing some early information, that's going to be perfect for them in terms of having uh, everything they need now. I like this though. Smoke's going over A. That's going to give the illusion it's a bit of an A take. Force a rotation back towards the A site, and that will be Spellland. But in the meantime, the bomb making its way down onto B. It's Partodis to try and hold this line. He just sprayed down one, but Calix will trade. It's going to now be the rotation of Spellan. He's already deep in the site. Calix will have no idea. And that's going to net him a free kill as well. Tries to follow up, and he's not going to be able to do so. Mini trades. But rocking, he is going to be supporting his fallen teammate. Another kill for him. Caught in the Molotov, but Cirque, he's going to AWP out Mini all on Sasuk. And I don't see this one happening, especially with the fact that he has 5 HP, no utility to get himself back onto the site, and ACL just holding the angle for the free kill, all gift wrapped for him as well. So Sasuke saving onto that gun, and Outlaws another round on the board. But another round, another attempt here. Obviously, the bomb plant money again from Dark Passage are going to utilize a buy. Or facilitate a buy, sorry. Moxic's going to be on their ADWP. No armor to support it, but he still gets a first pick. Circ walking into that one. And the aggression this time not working out for Outlaws for a change. So now they are going to be down a man. Trying to fight a bit of an uphill battle. Still, the rest of these Dark Passage players pushing out towards A. Close position here and a bit of a crossfire with Spellan over in that pop dog as well. Rocky, he gets himself a first. No need to continue. He can just back off in this position as well, but he's just not going to choose to. Sits very aggressive up towards A main. He will get himself another, but Mini going down means Watsik's going to be able to trade things out. Kalix as well. Aggression towards the Ivy area. He gets himself a free kill. And two players now remaining for Outlaws. It's going to be the spray. <laughs> Partodis. That is huge. Now Dark Passage just left on Watsik. And again, he has no armor to work with. No, he is on that ADP, obviously, but he's going to be walking into the embracing arms of Bartodis there for a third kill of the round. Outlaws going to be up to 10 to 4. But again, let's just take into account while this is obviously Dark Passage's map pick, this is T side train. It's what you have to expect a lot of the times. And yeah, they may come back in with a win uh, on the second half. You've got to kind of hope they pick up a fifth here so they have a bit more leaning room to fall back on if they do start to lose. But. At the end of the day, it all does depend on their CT on their CT side here. Sorry, because T uh, side obviously being a lot lot harder. So let's see how it goes. Definitely not counting them out because they're one of those really versatile teams, which you really can't. I 
And that's exactly why. Woxic. Nice shot there onto Cirque to kick things off. Now the man advantage. And we are going to see Dark Passage start to head out onto the site as well. Another pick, but this time going the way of Maiko. He takes down Rocking. So we're in door four and three. And Outlaw's going to start to lose out on players for a change. This is not like we, uh, we've been seeing so far this map. And Calyx, again, another. They have to clear out this upper player. He's now dropped to the ladder and Spellan caught out as well. That's a nice shot from Calyx. It's all on Partodis. Obviously no save because it's the last round of the half. So he's just going to have to go for it. And Dark Passage are going to have everything they need to pick up this round of four versus one. Bomb making its way to the site as well in the hands of Woxic and a bomb plant as well. Oh, maybe? No, it doesn't matter. He's just going to get the kill. Safer option. Oh, well, it's not really, but uh, it works out. 5 to 10, Dark Passage. It's all going to be on this pistol round here on the CT side. They are obviously a very reliable t train team, but uh, their T side obviously having a, a few struggles at least. But off into the second half we go here. Eventually. Obviously we are just going to see if Outlaws can close this map out here for the first one. And take into account for those who just tuned in. This is Dark Passage's map picks are already being at a bit of a disadvantage here. Uh, losing out on quite a few rounds in their first half. That being said, again, we've kind of you know, beaten this like a dead horse. It is going to be trained. It is T-side. It is a very difficult one to try and make work. So, again, you can't really blame them too much for having their issues. And, well, they are definitely a very decent train team. It's all going to be about picking up this pistol round if they want to secure anything going into this matchup. Outlaws hitting towards this B-side, it seems. A bit of defense here from the side of Dark Passage, but at the end of the day, it is B. You don't typically stack it, stack it especially not on that pistol round. But there's going to be a fast rotate from Sasuke, who's already inside that connector, just ready and waiting. Now, the push comes in. They're going to fully commit to this one. We have Mini to try and hold it off, but Maiko, he gets himself the first kill. Mini follows up with two as well. This is great stuff from the back of the site. He goes in for more. Going to be able to wrap round, but that's Maiko instead to push through the smoke. And... <laughs> Another one for him as Sasuke does follow. That is going to be a solid pistol around there for Dark Passage. And yeah, now this is happening. They're definitely on the lead to win this one back. I'm not counting them out by any means. So a 10-6. to 6. This is pretty much almost guaranteed to be a 10-8 to 8 after these two anti-ecos. You'd like to think Dark Passage are one of those teams that really don't have any issues with picking up their anti-ecos. I mean, we saw it in the previous half and that was on T-side as well. So you can definitely count on them for picking this one up. But... uh Hey, don't listen to me. Let's watch. Let's prove it here. But the push going to be coming very, very slowly out of the A side. This is not the typical setup you see as well. <clears throat> With these force buys, you typically see a very, very fast play on A or even on B. But they are just going to be playing slow. Finally now going to be embracing these CTs as they start to push up. Calyx will deny the first, but it is going to be ACL to actually get something back in the favor of this terrorist side. The kills, they are currently in a 4v4 situation as they go back and forth. Still very deep control here from Outlaws. Eventually it's going to be rejuvenated by Dark Passage who have rotated back in through Connector. That's Maiko there. And they aren't going to have too much of an issue dispatching of these last few players here on this T side. And it will just be the cleanup that we expect even after that first pick so nice stuff there from dark passage it's going to be uh, seven to ten and that was now going into their full eco so nothing much expected here in this round blocks are out boys we don't have anything too special no P250s or anything, so best they can really hope for is a bomb plant at this point. Not even a round is, is really on the cards here. Well, it's, yeah, in the realms of possibility. It's not in the realms of probability, and Mini is going to further prove my statement to be correct as he denies the first out into B, so ramp control going to be solid here for Dark Passage and Outlaws. Aim of the game is run down B, get a bomb plant, try and overrun the first player, get a rifle, and then do any economical damage you can do with that. That is typically the, the best setup, especially for mainly ecoing players here. And even with five Glocks, it's a lot harder than it may seem. So 
if they can even get that, that would be impressive. But now the push comes out. Maiko again denying here. And just in a quick couple of seconds, the round's already over. Nice spray down stuff there from the CT side. And as we said, Dark Passage is exactly what we would uh, expect to see, sorry, from them. A solid CT side so far. 8 to 10. But now things start to get tricky as we are going to see that buyout coming from Outlaws. They are fully committed to this one. It's not going to be uh, at least gifted here to this CT side. And they are going to be on the AWP on as well, alongside the AKs. Ooh, bit of damage early on. Mainly onto the side of the CTs. Not too much of an issue though. They will just get away with it. I thought this was Henry G. <laughs> uh, I, I, I get told I sound a bit like him as well sometimes. So I do understand. It's not just you, man. You're not crazy. Or you may be, but not for that reason at least. But Calix, nice stuff. Flashes through the smoke, catches out Partodis. Now the man advantage even further in the favour of this Dark Passage side. But Outlaws can definitely come back from this one. Again, they're going to need to utilise this AWP to find himself a pick over towards the A site. And Cirque, going to be set up for that one. Woxic, though, another denial here from the CT side. This is nothing really that Outlaws can do. And a 2v5 on a really unfavoured map on this half. Again, with a bit of aggression, that should be another one. And Micah cleans up on B. That's going to be it. Dark Passage. It's looking like they may be able to bring this one back as they, so far, while we are early, have had a very dominant showing here on the city side of train. So let's see if they can continue that for the time being or if it's going to just be a, a short stint before we see a bit of a comeback here from the uh, side of Outlaws. And going back into this round as well, it's a bit of an eco, but the proper buy will come out next round. They're going to have full utility, full, full nades, full AWP, everything they can really hope for because a max loss bonus will be coming through there with five uh, 3.5, 3.4k, sorry, after a five round deficit. So that is at least one positive here for the side of out, uh, Outlaws. But definitely not for the side of Dark Passage. They want to take these easy rounds up against pistols, and they will be doing so. Mini in great fashion, two kills already. Maiko burns one to a crisp, and he will follow up with a pistol there, denying the bomb plant on not quite just that. He lets them get away with it, but he still picks up three kills at the end of the day. So it is going to be a round of Art Passage, but the extra money gifted to Outlaws. Not that they needed it by any means, but they're going to get it anyway, and that will now mean a buy will be literally uh, full. So they're going to have everything they need and see if one team or the other can take the, uh, the lead out of this one. That is going to be the most important thing here because obviously the money on both teams isn't exactly super built up. We do actually, I say that, we do have a fair bit on the side here of, uh, of Dark Passage. So, yeah, no, you can't worry about that. But uh, at least on Outlaws, if they lose out on this, it's looking like maybe even. Maybe I'm um, early, but maybe even a map win for Dark Passage because it's going to be back into another eco and that'll be 12 rounds gifted before they can even get a, a buy round on the board. So a 12 to 10, again, this favourite side is, is very, very good. But at least for a change, we are going to see Rocking open things up now. So Outlaws with a man advantage as Sasuke will go down. But smokes and flashes over A here. It's not clear whether it's a full commitment yet, although it does look, certainly look likely. However, the bomb is heading down in towards B. No, it's not a full commitment. It's just circled to go down without AWP, and the rest of Outlaws already taking control of B. Look at that, though. Micah gets shot in the face. Only gets to think for his troubles, and Mini, yes, he refrags things back out, but the bomb's going to be down, and Outlaws have a bit of an innate advantage here. However, this is the bomb site. It is very, very easy to be retakeable. We obviously know this. Most retakeable site in the game as we start to see Dark Passage amount a bit of a push back in towards this one. Spellland, very low, is going to be playing deep in the site, and that's going to be nades are perfect for this position. But a double P comes out, that's nice stuff. Rocking gets one, follows up with a second, his teammate falls. But again, Spellland was so low. Mini now with only an AWP, as there's nothing he can do. And Outlaws, they're actually going to take it 11 to 10. They get themselves back on the board, they're not out of this one just yet. And I mean, honestly, the way that this is going so back and forth, I could honestly see this going to three maps here. And uh, we're not even done with the first yet, so. It's great to be able to say that we see a close contention in terms of team level in this matchup. 
But obviously the money on Dark Passage is not going to be too shoddy. They are going to be able to buy up regardless. And they are going to have the full buy indeed. So going to be uh, enforcing ADP across the board. And a very fast push. Going to uh, wield ACL quite a few kills here. Two already coming in. Rocking will follow up. And these entries are just going phenomenally here for the Outlaw side. Cirque. Okay. Cool. Two more kills for him. A Dark Passage. They are going to start to falter just a little, little bit. They've obviously got another buy coming out, but it may just be their last hit. Eco is looking very, very likely after this round. As their money is going to be on their last ditched effort buy here. We have the M4s and a couple of UMPs or a UMP going to be in action as they can't fully afford and they want to get their nades, which is so important on a map like train that is so CT sided. One of the reasons being for this utility usage can be so, so easy. So we're going to see Outlaws now already deep in B without a single fight going on. It's going to be Protodis to actually kick things off. Mini goes down. Now we have to see the rotation from Dark Passage as the man advantage is going to be secured and actually the round as well. Outlaws, they get themselves the entry and that is all they need dark passage don't even want to retake with a man disadvantage especially about uh, against the amount of nades that we see on the side of outlaws so it is going to be a uh, 13 to 10 and right also saying dark passage could bring this back with a win seems to be going the other way But, no saves today. <laughs> Maiko the only one getting away with the gun. They do chase it down. It's rocking to get a couple as well. And that will just be the round, obviously, as we expect to go into Outlaws. But also the extra kills just to uh, disallow any saving CT players here. So the buy can't be coming through here. They can't force up alongside that one rifle. Be a terrible idea. Just go for that safe eco. Buy up in the upcoming round. Best option there for them. And they will just be doing exactly that here. So... Obviously, Outlaws, they are going to have a bit of a mincemeat round. We have, obviously, some pistols brought up from the CT side with a bit of armor, but by and large, it's not the full commitment that we would uh, hope not to expect here. But already entry going to go the way of Rocking. He's been performing phenomenally so far this matchup. Cirque as well, following up with the AWP. And the Man Advantage, again, going to be heavily back in the favor here of this T side as a 5v3 in, or 4v3 in play, sorry. And really, this is not like Dark Passage. They are having such a struggle here on this map. A map that they are usually so consi so consistently good on. I don't really know what e even to say about this map. But Mini's not even going to be gifted a free kill there. As you can see, no one's even chasing down through the CT spawn. So it is just going to be the save. And Outlaws, they get away with their guns as well. Terrorists win. But now at least we have the buy, and obviously the saved weaponry from the previous round going to allow a, uh, a full buy into this one. So they aren't going to have any issues with that. AWP will be coming in, and that will be on Woxic as per usual. That's going to be it here for the CT side. The T side obviously having the same buys per usual. Cirque still on that AWP here for the Terrorists, and... Once again, a bit of a fast push here already. One player going to be making his way deep out of main. That is Cirque. He's trying to find himself a pick, but nothing will present itself here. The rest of them hitting in towards B, it seems, for the time being. And they are just going to be charging out into the site. It's going to be one lone defender, and that is all on Mini. But he doesn't get anything for his uh, troubles. Goes straight down. Calyx is already damaged as well. But look at these Ts. So few of them on full HP here. It's going to make this one a little bit more difficult. However, the CTs have to hurry up. They can't afford to save another round and give it away. Because that's just going to start to lead them to lose this one. Especially when they're only one away from 15 on the side of Outlaws. They need to see a commitment back into the site. But it's just not going to go their way so far. It's a 3v4. And already these Ts here are in such aggressive post points. It's making it so much harder. Partodis, another kill here. And two players left on this CT side to try and make something work. I don't see this one happening. And it won't. Woxic has lasted a full round going to Outlaws and 15, in fact. So uh, a bit of an upset, I guess you could say, here in this first map. It's not over, but it is very, very close. As Dark Passage can't fully afford to buy. Push back into B here from these terrorists. 
If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it's definitely not broke. They've been picking up a massive amount of rounds here on this half, and they are going to be charging in. That's Maiko actually to defend the first, though, but it walks it will be dropped, and Mini returning another bit of damage here from the CT side. It's just going to be equal trades back and forth here. Already rocking, stuck in up, but he has to find himself another pick because it has been rejuvenated back to a 3 on 2 in favour of the side of the CT. So... He's going to be unable to get himself anything there down the upper position. But in the meantime, Bob, we're going to be party on B now. So Outlaws have a, a bit of a chance into this round if they can just deny this push back into the site for as long as possible. But already the rotation rocking, dropping another. That's Calix to fall. But look at this. There's a player coming in from behind. He hasn't even realized it in the meantime. Mini, he's deep on the site. Still, nothing for him. Rocking does deny it. The flank comes out, but it's too little too late as two kills have been found by that player. And no need to peek from Spellan. He just has to hide, wait for this bomb defusal, and then peek out. It is going to be the round for Outlaws, surely, right? He commits to the bomb, peeks up. He knows where he is. Going to stick it again. Spellan. Flash goes out, or fake flash at least. Run around the corner for Sasuke, but he's got no time left. It's Outlaws to pick up that first map. 16 to 10. And what a great way to start it as well. As we see those terrorists clinch it away, the Bulgarians steal it from the Turkish. Second map will be overpassed, and that will be Outlaws map pick as well. So we're going to be jumping into that in just a few minutes. 